My name is Aurélien Pupier. I'm working uh, at Red Hat in a Red Hat integration tooling team. So part of my job is to provide uh, tooling for Apache Camel, including textual tooling and for several IDs. And uh, well, today I, I will explain how to contribute um, to this uh, to this tooling. Uh, it's not uh, very complicated, you will see. Um, so let's go. Uh, so first, I will start by um, defining what uh, I'm talking about when I talk about textual tooling for Camel. Uh, so there are different kind of file configuration that are available in Camel. So you you have your DSL, you have your properties file uh, written in different languages. Uh, so I won't talk about um, providing the tooling for uh, XML tags or Java methods but I will talk about providing tooling for uh, instance camel URI that is inside a, a specific uh, field uh, in, inside XML or Java or also um, to provide the help in the, inside the properties file and for the camel specific uh, properties. Um, one point that is important is uh, uh, to provide it for several ideas. Um, uh, why we we came to that? So uh, back in time, a few years ago, there was mainly uh, two ideas that were providing textual tooling. Um, so it's, there was one Eclipse based, uh, one uh, based on IntelliJ. And uh, well, it was representing quite a large share of the market. It's uh, no more the case. And also, what about all uh, the other ID? So for instance, how to provide the tooling for uh, VS Code. So what we had at that time is that uh, for each ID, we had, uh, we, re we require a lot of skills to develop uh, the, the textual tooling, uh, both in Camel, and also for uh, the specific I API of the IDE. And so uh, it's, I mean, it's relatively easy to find someone that is able, uh, that is fluent with Camel API and with Eclipse API. Uh, but uh, one uh, with Camel and VS Code API, but it starts to be hard to have it also for a bunch of other ideas. Uh, so, um, that's why there was only two, because it's difficult to, to provide the tooling in, in several places. And usually when you are bound to this API, the code is not reusable between all of them, or very, it's very complicated. So the solution for that, um, that we're using is uh, called the language server protocol. I will explain what it is. The module of that uh, is uh, that uh, there is the idea is to write the code editing capabilities uh, for your textual uh, document a single time and to benefit from all these editing capabilities in all ideas. Which leads to something like that. Uh, so you have. Um, some you have your language server uh, where you need sorry i need to go back oh sorry <laughs> i misclick <laughs> okay so take my pointer uh, so I was saying uh, the architecture that we have is uh, that we have one language server when we are developing the code editing capabilities. It requires uh, Camel um, API uh, skills, uh, some skills to, to for the language server protocol. And after, the idea is that you don't need skills for any of the other ID. Okay, in fact, there is a very low skill to have in 
all the other one, but it's very, it's really not complicated. So the, the real promise of this is that you will write uh, for limited set of code editing capabilities a single time, and it will run in most IDEs with a little setup. Um, so it sounds bad, say like that, but in fact, it is not that much because when I say most IDs, it's really uh, most IDs, a lot of them are available. The little setup is a little setup and the limited set of code editing capabilities. In fact, we will see that uh, there is already quite a lot of capabilities. It remains uh, lower than uh, inside a, a specific ID, but it's already a large set uh, of code editing capabilities. These capabilities uh, are grouped uh, like that. So the first thing that you can come in mind is the with the autocomplete. Uh, so yeah, to have a co completion for uh, your camel URI component and so on. Uh, this is uh, the first thing. You can provide documentation on Uber. Uh, you have code lens, uh, so it can be useful. For instance, if you want to show uh, the type uh, inlined uh, inside, uh, inside your text uh, of a variable. There are some stuff for navigation. So um, to to go to a definition, find the references uh, of your file, have an outline, and so on. And there is some uh, formatting that is available, uh, maybe uh, can be useful, for instance, in uh, with the Camel Java DSL. Uh, if you want to format the, your Camel root, you can try to have uh, some smart, uh, smart auto format. There are things to do some renaming. Uh, it's not really refactoring, it's really renaming. Uh, there is not a lot of actions possible, but still uh, useful. You can have specific code actions uh, to provide, for instance, a quick fix uh, when there is an error and uh, automatically modify uh, the code. You can provide some highlights uh, based on the selection, uh, some folding, for instance, um, I mean, in your uh, Camel Java root, if you have um, uh, a choice, you might want to collapse uh, the, all the choice uh, in a single time. It is possible to provide uh, diagnostic, so it is validation. And also, yeah, there is document symbols. It's also used for navigation and, and the outline. Okay, so I explained in general, what is uh, the language server protocol and why uh, we chose that uh, uh, and how it helps to provide the, uh, the support for Apache Camel in several ideas. Uh, uh, now I will uh, talk about more what has been done specifically for Apache Camel. So the first thing, um, so there is the server for sure <laughs> that has been done, uh, so written in Java. And after we have, um, we provided specific clients uh, for a bunch of IDs. So there is for Eclipse Desktop, VS Code, Eclipse, already workspaces and Atom. So it means that uh, there is really, uh, from the end user point of view, it's really like any other uh, extensions. It doesn't know that it is a language server and it is really easy to uh, find and install in their ID. We have some examples on README for a bunch of other ideas. Uh, so it requires that the user uh, uh, yeah, manipulate, uh, do some actions to really have uh, the, the completion and benefits from the language server. And there is, in fact, all the other ideas. In theory, it is working, but we have not tried. I get back to this slide and I think the kind of level of feature that we have uh, for Camel. Um, I won't enter in detail, I, I will do a demo. Uh, so, but just to see that uh, for some of them, we have quite a lot of things uh, available already for Uber, uh, for autocomplete, but uh, for some of the capabilities, uh, the field is completely open. Uh, a great place to provide contribution. Okay, um, 
I will go to a demo. So the first thing that I want to show is, uh, yeah, that uh, that it is. Uh, I want to show that it is working in several uh, ID that I'm not lying. <laughs> so here I am in Eclipse, which is an, uh, a browser-based uh, API. So here we can see that uh, we have completion. Uh, we have the documentation of uh, the elements. Um, we have some tooltip uh, which helps to know uh, what means this uh, this property. We have, if I put a wrong value, for instance, here there is some validation that is provided saying that uh, I have something wrong. Uh, so yeah. So here, uh, first overview. Here I am in Eclipse. It is uh, and uh, with XML. Uh, now I will shoot switch to another ID just to show you that it is working. Uh, here, Eclipse Desktop, uh, picking another language uh, just uh, for fun. And uh, here we can see that I also have uh, my uh, my, compla my completion. Uh, so that's, uh, that's really cool. Um, yeah. Also available in Eclipse Desktop. And I will finish, uh, I won't do all of them, don't worry. <laughs> I will just finish uh, with VS Code uh, and uh, I will go more in deeper in all uh, features. Um, yeah, so here now I'm with Java. We can see that uh, I have an outline. Uh, so this one is available only for the Java DSL, but in all IDs for the Java DSL. Uh, which allows to navigate uh, in the file. If I want to navigate also searching for the from, uh, I can have a nice overview of uh, my different routes, for instance. Um, oh yeah, and the quick fix. Uh, here, for instance, if I provide a wrong value, which is not far away, I made a typo. Uh, I have a quick fix which is available, uh, which allows to me to um, to automatically fix uh, the value. So here it was all on Camel URI. There is another part uh, which is really important is the uh, Camel K mod line. I don't know if you are very familiar with Camel K, which is. Uh, uh, quite new, but uh, you can write a bunch of properties in a, uh, as a mod line, as comment, as comment. and uh, so all of them are available for sure. Uh, you have some completion for uh, to to help you uh, filling these uh, properties. Uh, maybe uh, on the traits, uh, it will be more easy to. To see, so here, for instance, I have uh, affinity, and uh, I have available all the all the options. So that's uh, really cool. There is also part which is inside the properties file. Uh, so I have access to all the camel main and camel component uh, stuff. So also completion uh, in these spaces. Okay. Um, that's all I want to show on the current capabilities uh, um, inside the ideas. So now, yeah, I will explain how to add more editing, code editing capabilities because uh, some of them are really awesome, but there is still room for improvement. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so I will show you how to set up the development environment inside an Eclipse Desk Desktop um, environment. Uh, why? Because uh, Eclipse Desktop is providing a very nice support for language server development. Uh, we have access to log. Uh, um, you can edit directly uh, the file. Uh, you can directly test your language server inside your workspace that you are using. Uh, I will demo it. And there is also powerful Java support. Uh, VS Code is quite good too. 
But in fact, you can really use any uh, ID that you want uh, as soon as, the, as the, it is supporting Java. Uh, you will just have a bit more uh, manual configuration to test inside an editor, but that's absolutely possible. OK. Um, so yeah, uh, I am in my Eclipse. Uh, so in Eclipse, uh, I have cloned my uh, project. Uh, and then uh, I can really, uh, if I just import with import projects, uh, yeah, already done, but uh, I click finish and uh, that's, uh, it will import the project, it will be ready to use. You will be able to launch the test immediately. Uh, so that's cool. There is a bunch of tests and that's nice. You can see that it is really a completely classical Maven Java project, so quite easy to uh, to handle. In the project structure, um, it is grouped more or less uh, by cap capabilities uh, for each of them. And so what is nice, I said that you can test your own um, your your language server directly uh, inside uh, your workspace. So for that, for instance, uh, so here I will put the, the editor that I want to test. Um, I put if I put a breakpoint uh, here, I am in a class uh, uh, which is providing the Uber. So yeah, I have my breakpoint which is it, so I can debug directly here. This is uh, really useful. So for that, there is a little configuration uh, to do, um, which is not very complicated. I will show it quickly. Um, the first is to provide what is called the content types. So it's just to say, okay, I associate this kind of files uh, to, uh, um, to this content type. Uh, so here, for instance, I choose camel K files, uh, whatever. And here, after there is a specific language servers uh, stuff, and you can see here that I associated my content type with the launch configuration uh, camel language server, which is provided by default, this one uh, directly inside the project, and that I, I'm launching uh, it in debug mode. So that's why, uh, I can open uh, my file and have the editor. Uh, I can develop my language server and have the editor directly um, taking the last change that I'm doing. To make it uh, perhaps a bit more visible, um, I will just uh, yeah show you that I can change uh, directly uh, the stuff here. So. For instance, I have uh, Uber, which is banal. <laughs> uh, and if I want to change that, uh, here I prepare the it. So I just adding, changing the Uber that I want. I'm providing one which is using Markdown, um, putting some comment that uh, it is really great. And so I, when I change it and I go back, the the new language server, the modification that I made are already available. So it allows a really fast inner loop. Um, so there is a question if we can do this debug mode with VS Code 2. Um, in theory, yes. I have not tried. Um, <laughs> but uh, with VS Code, I, I think it's possible. Uh, with other ID, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. It's always possible to point to uh, the on result of the build and so on, but uh, uh, there won't be built-in uh, features to do that. Uh, but uh, in VS Code, uh, there is. Was a question coming from the chat. <laughs> um, Okay, so that's it. Uh, if you want to provide uh, code editing capabilities, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe just mentioning that uh, uh, we are relying heavily on the Camel Core. Um, so it's a Camel uh, tooling and Camel catalog, uh, which is provided by, by the Apache, the official Apache Camel 
project. So there is already a lot of things that is done there and we are just uh, usually just doing the, the plumbing uh, between that and the language server protocol API. Okay, I just put a link uh, to how to set up uh, the stuff. It is available in the contributing guide. So I talk about contributing a new code editing capabilities, but previously I was also mentioned that we need uh, to be easily consumable uh, by end user without uh, specific uh, uh, work on their side. Uh, you need to provide a new ID client for each of them. It is a one-time effort, but uh, to improve the adoption, this is really important. And for that, uh, well, we are quite on your own <laughs> because it's specific to each ID. Uh, the API is different each time. Uh, if I knew how to do that, I would have uh, already, I would have do it and there won't be need to, to do that. Uh, because, well, it is a one-time effort. It is not a things that we can add, uh, add uh, uh, on it uh, on the time. Well, okay. Uh, so I can still help uh, because usually it's still following the same pattern. Uh, the camel uh, language server is coming uh, as a standalone jar. So uh, in the client ID, you will just have to pick the jar launch the jar and connect to it uh, either through standard input output or through WebSocket, both are available uh, in the camel language server. Um, to choose uh, the connection, it depends on your, uh, on which client you are using. Some are providing both, some only one of them. It depends on the context, but usually they have a um, nice API to, to do the connection. And after there is, uh, you need to do the file association. Um, so it is to say, okay, this kind of file, I want to have my camel language server to be launched with. Um, but well, it's just uh, usually a few lines uh, to say, okay, I want my XML Java properties file to be, uh, uh, to be associated with a camel. Okay, um, I will go, uh, if you want more specific ideas to, to get started to contribute. So first, so I told the different ways of contributing. Uh, there is uh, implementing new code editing capabilities. You can also provide the client for your preferred ID. You can also, of course, provide new feature ideas, help review pull request, uh, go on the chat, uh, there is a Zulip chat um, now, which is quite recent and the Camel community is uh, with Camel tooling. Uh, on the slide, uh, there is a link uh, and I will share it after. And uh, yeah, there is, we are using both uh, GitHub issues uh, and uh, the Jira, which is uh, on Jira, it is more for the Red Hat tooling team, uh, but you can go there and grab uh, IDs and, uh, uh, and if you are doing the task, uh, um, that, that's fine too. Um, yeah, but you can, yeah, stay on GitHub if you prefer that. That's really uh, up to you. On, um, yeah, again, this slide. So on LSP code editing capabilities, uh, there is, um, several um, level of feature and we can see that we have a lot of places where uh, there are room for, for improvements. Few ideas really quickly. Uh, you can provide some help to rename uh, when you are renaming an ID on a direct element to ensure that uh, the ID of the route is renamed and so on. Uh, maybe uh, if you think about uh, some autocomplete in connected mode, I, I mean, for instance, uh, uh, if you want to, to have a, a way to connect to an active MQ and to retrieve topic and uh, to provide them as a compilation um, dynamically, that would be, it can be cool. Uh, there are some 
stuff or in templated routes, uh, really new uh, in Camel. So uh, the field is completely open. There is also something a bit different. Uh, if you are interested, there is uh, to provide a natively compiled version of the language server uh, to allow to have a really fast uh, uh, answer, especially and be able to embed it uh, in the cloud environment uh, more easily. But really, it's really open, just a few ideas. And if you are really motivated and really interested, there are ways to uh, go a lot further. Uh, so the Camel language server is a really uh, standalone uh, and we try to stay independent as much as possible from uh, everything else. But, uh, and the, the language server protocol uh, doesn't uh, define how to communicate with other language server, which can be useful. For instance, uh, with the Java language server, um, it could be used, the Java language server is uh, able to read a Java project, a Maven project, access the, the pom.xml, manipulate, uh, manipulate it and have a uh, API to manipulate the, the pom.xml and so on. So for instance, uh, when you, in Camel, when you are adding a Camel component, you might want to have the, the dependency directly uh, added to the pom.xml. And in this case, uh, it will be a lot of work to redo everything in, uh, inside um, the Camel language server. This a good solution would be to communicate to the Java language server and uh, to be able to uh, yeah, le leverage that. So it's possible this is a part that we have not investigated yet. Um, and it's not part of the, proto uh, of the protocol itself, but uh, well, uh, there are possibilities to, to leverage that. Also, uh, if you are interested in this ID to provide tooling in general for Camel and to be available in several IDs, there are also two uh, great projects. One is debug adapter protocol, really the same ID uh, than, um, than the language server, but applied to debugging. Uh, so for instance, it can be very cool to have uh, a breakpoint uh, that you put on your Java file, inside your Java file on the camel URI and uh, to have the, uh, the debug stopping at it or in your XML files, for instance. There is this kind of things uh, for XML in a graphical way in the Eclipse desktop tooling, but the code is not reusable. Uh, so it's not available in other IDE. That's why uh, using this debug adapter protocol, it can be reused everywhere. I want to mention also the graphical language server protocol, uh, even if this one is not very widespread yet. So uh, there is not a lot of clients that are supporting this one, uh, but well, uh, it can be, if you are interested in graphical stuff, it can be uh, something co cool to have a look at. Okay, and yeah, uh, uh, another thing, uh, if you want to, if you are really motivated, if you want to contribute, uh, maybe it can be, uh, yeah, to, to lead uh, the move to an Apache Camel Soup project. If it, you think that it makes sense uh, for now, there is only Red Hat working on that. So uh, we didn't uh, did it, but it's uh, absolutely possible. Um, yeah, if, and if you think that's great, you can try to help in migration, uh, maintenance and governance of that. Um, yeah, or, um, Really, it's uh, if someone is willing to lead that, it's really open. Uh, we are not planning to 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 lead this move. Um, uh, as for now, as I said, we are only red hatters. But well, if we start to have uh, more contributors, external contributors, uh, maybe we will uh, look at it more carefully. Okay, so. I hope that uh, I motivate you to, to help to contribute to enhance the language server for Camel. Uh, 
And uh, yeah, time for question. <laughs> I think we only have one question from Zineb. Can we do this debug mode with VS Code 2? You were showing uh, debug mode. I don't know if it was Eclipse, maybe? Yes, it was in Eclipse Desktop. And uh, so, yeah, I mentioned it uh, during the call. So, yeah, uh, inside VS Code, I think it is possible to do the same thing. I have not tried. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, and uh, it should be also, uh, yeah, but. I don't think that it is possible in other ID uh, as is, but in VS Code, I'm pretty confident that it is possible. And there are no more questions. There's a lot of comments on the control space support, which is awesome. It allows you to develop without really developing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I think this is a really important project for getting people involved in Camel in the end. This is a good way to leverage the, the starting point. Agree. So we still have like 10 minutes. I don't know if someone else has any questions or maybe we can have a little break. Or if you want to show any other demo or something. Um, if not, well, we can take a break, 10 minutes. Yeah, I think not a bad the, idea. the break is great between the, the different sessions. <laughs> okay. okay, then see you in 10 minutes on the next session. Thank you for listening. Thank you for giving the talk. Bye.